Good afternoon, everyone. So today, uh, the group four will be uh, presenting their our very own case analysis for the case study of caterpillar tunneling revitalizing user adoption of business intelligence. Uh, for today's uh, discussion, so we will be having the five following speakers who will be uh, sharing to us the details and in-depth discussion of each of the departments within CTCC Canada. So the group has identified uh, four major objectives for this case study. So let's begin first with discussing some of the case facts. So the group has identified some of the major points uh, based on the case that was provided. So basically, the CTCC had a host of problems in terms of their data inconsistency, uh, uneven reporting, and poorly processed and outdated ERP system. The business intelligence was provided as an interim solution uh, to address the reporting shortcomings after the postponement of the uh, SAP implementation for um, Caterpillar. However, the CTCC is struggling in terms of implementing the BI solution as the one source or only source of truth. And some of the business, or not just some, but many of the business units uh, within the company were not ready to adopt the said software. So let's begin our discussion in knowing first or understanding the overall ERP a system or the enterprise resource planning uh, system. So basically the ERP is consists of the three major components, which are uh, the ERP, the IT, and the BI platform. So the group has initiated in conducting the value chain analysis uh, for the ERP. So as you can see here in the diagram on the right side of the screen, so we have here some of the information processing activities. At the bottom, we have the management activities. And at the center, we have uh, some of the business processes or the major departments of the CTCC. So basically, the main objective for this analysis is to uh, know or to map out how uh, the interdependence of each of these processing activities relative to the management activities as support to the functional teams uh, that help uh, CTCC achieve its target as a business. So the value chain analysis of ERP is basically uh, to appreciate and establish a strong foundation of information processing activities. Uh, this is to understand the correlation of management activities and support for the decision-making process for the various business processes. So next uh, in the case, we have the PMO or the Project Management Office. So we have here some of the areas for improvement that we think the PMO should uh, invoke by themselves. So first is they have to implement the change management implementation. So basically, they really have to transition to a better reporting mechanism in order for them to know the real-time update and status of each of the projects that they're working on. But in order to do that, they, have, they should have a strong reinforcement from management and impose a more stringent compliance to achieve the results. Because without proper management interference or push, uh, this initiative will not come into fruition. So that's the end of my discussion. Now I'll turn it over to Christina to discuss the next uh, departments, which are the IT and engineering. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. Hello and good day, everyone. For my presentation, I will be discussing the summary of our performed evaluation. IT department plays a major role in the success of an organization. It is labeled as a critical enabler of the business operations and processes. In the case of CTTC, the integration of the IT department to the parent company's GIS has benefits and disadvantages. From our SWOT analysis, these challenges could have been mitigated by conducting comprehensive assessment for prospective expansion, strategy planning and integration improvement, skill advancement and development, continuous collaboration and communication, which are some of the recommendations I could provide from a management perspective. For the engineering department, I could say that this is the core pillar of this manufacturing organization. Their engineers are the key people to configure engineer-to-order products that would fit different client requirements and demands. From our problem tree analysis, we can confirm 
that the negative effects of the root causes could have been alleviated if it was properly implemented for compliance by the upper management in order to leverage the full gain and significance of the tool. Feedback and constructive criticisms could have been provided to continuously enhance the usability and relevance of the platform. Awareness and training with incentives and recognition could have driven higher engagement and motivated positive reinforcement for embracing transformation. I will now turn you over to the next speaker, Mark, to discuss about quality assurance. Quality assurance. Manufacturing a tunnel boring machine is a complex process that involves concurrent engineering because of designing and planning being crucial. The machine has a complex manufacturing process which makes designing and planning very crucial because there is a little room for error. And the lack of visibility makes it hard to assess quality because of absence of automated notification. This is why quality assurance or the QA system is implemented to get information on unpredictable incidents for analysis and control. Lastly, BI platform give the solution to improve the workflow and ensure timely communication with stakeholders by bridging the gap between the QA system and ERP system. I'll turn you over to the next presenter, Askin, to discuss about the spare parts, field sales, and finances. Thank you. Good day. Today, I am going to discuss the spare part sales department and the finance department. Sales part sales department manages spare parts orders, inventory, customer increase, and after sales support. This case study analyzes CTCC's spare part sales department to identify strengths, weaknesses, and opportunities for improvement. The key objectives are improving inventory management to ensure timely availability of critical spare parts to meet customer demand, enhancing customer service, enhancing customer satisfaction through faster response time, increasing sales efficiency, Simplifying sales processes to reduce processing times and improve overall cycle. On the other hand, finance department is responsible for the company's operational and financial performances on a daily basis. The company was struggling to maintain profitability due to inefficient financial management practices. Accurate budgets and forecasts are crucial for aligning financial planning with business goals. The finance department faces challenges in forecasting, demand fluctuations, anticipating cost changes. The study also highlights the importance of a proactive and data-driven approach to financial management and the value of finance uh, department's contribution to overall business success. I'll turn you over to the next presenter, Divinia, to discuss about operations and productions. Hello to everybody. My topic is about operation and production. By focusing on these aspects and incorporating a user-centric approach, Caterpillar Tunneling can revitalize user adoption of BI in operations management and production. As more users embrace the BI platform and leverage its capabilities, the company can expect to see improved operational efficiency, enhanced decision-making, and increased overall productivity. These strategies address issues related to user interfaces, relevant insights, data quality, executive buy-in, and performance measurement is required to revive user adoption of business intelligence. I'll turn you over to the next presenter, Tina, to discuss about the conclusion and recommendation. Thank you. To summarize our presentation, we can conclude that the functionalities of the ERP system, together with the capabilities of the BI solution, as complementary tools that would provide excellent support to an organization. While ERP system delivers great operational information, it is the BI platform that empowers forecasting and visibility in the business. However, Implementation and adoption of the system and the tool is quite a challenge. Significant change initiatives should be properly managed, and that involves adaptive and transformational changes within the internal processes, technology and infrastructure, 
company culture, and corporate hierarchy. Our team has provided numerous recommendations as we deemed appropriate. Overall, change is inevitable and difficult. People hate changes and we are resistant towards it, but we must embrace it. As ERP system and BI platform offers a wide range of solutions across the board, no matter what role we play within the organization, every individual contribution is essential. And that brings us to the end. We sincerely appreciate your interest and attention today.